All right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, using the scan system as a redirect. Ow. All right, when it comes to redirects, there's a couple of things I wanted to see. I couldn't deal with dragging a rope around with me that was specifically there to unlatch or remove the redirect. I saw other systems. Uh, I know Dan Curtis worked on his redirect a little bit and, and got one with a, a throw weight hooked to a revolver. Uh, and the throw weight would lower the rope down. You could, you could uh, jiggle the tail on it and get it to come back to you, um, which, which is a great idea, and that works. Um, I wanted something that I could move throughout the tree and redirect wherever I'm at go to the next place, redirect to there, go to the next place, redirect to there, and, and not have this, this chain of, of equipment potentially strung out through the tree. So I needed something that would come to me wherever it was. And when I pull the redirect out, it would just release and, and come to me easy enough. Um, there's some challenges with this. <laughs> because if you go down on a single line, you're on a single line. There's no way to go back and, and affect what's happening up at the branch level. You can get around this by leaving the 3-1 mechanical advantage in place for a redirect. I know this limits. Uh, so this redirect really isn't good for you know going 100 feet down a tree because you've got to have 300 feet of rope to do that. However, if you're just moving 20 feet or less, this is really advantageous because you have 3 to 1 mechanical advantage while you're climbing and wherever you're at you can drop it and get your redirect back. Something else to consider for a redirect is the equipment. You've got Equipment you can buy, expensive equipment from, say, Notch or something, where you've got, you've got a redirect system that you can, you can put up in the tree. I wanted something simple. I wanted something that anybody probably already had on their belt. What if I can get a single carabiner to do all the things I've said and make a redirect that is, is stable, can be used either as a false crotch, 3 to 1 mechanical advantage, one that can be retrievable and that can be be reused throughout the tree without using additional rope. So you, in other words, you reset wherever you're at and you can take out anything that came behind you. All right, so I'm lanyarded into the tree right now. So I can t put slack into my, my primary line. I'm no longer hanging on it. So you take a bite and put it around your, your redirect point. You can do vertical, you can do horizontal, it doesn't really care. Put your hand through the bite so you can keep track of it. We're going to clip on the carabiner. I'm going to take the main line of the rope and wrap it around once. One more time. Just a half turn. And again, before I tuck it back through, I'm just going to put that bite of rope right through it. Now I pull the bite through the carabiner and connect it to my primary connection point on my harness. So there we go. So since this example is a little bit tight, I'm going to tighten up my rope bridge. But now I've got 3 to 1 MA built in with a single carabiner. I'm anchored around a branch. The only way this anchor can come loose is if I release the bite that I pulled down through the carabiner. Uh, other than that, that's going to stay there. There's no way that's going to come loose. The, uh, the knot does tend to spread a little bit, especially if you do it loosely. To release it, you simply release the bite and then pull the slack out of your line. And you can see this come apart. And it's going to bring me that carabiner so I can put it back on my belt. Now I've got, again, I've got three to one. set up ready to be lowered everything's locked in so I'm gonna go ahead and cinch this up drop my lanyard and I'm gonna go ahead and take this all the way to the ground and again you got to make sure you've got enough rope which I've got plenty I've still got I've got another hundred feet in the bag right now Nice and smooth. And then again, once you're on the ground, or once you've reached your final destination, you release the bite, 
Turn the slack back out of it. 